Hi there, this is uh, me trying to show a simple video of, let's say I wanted to close uh, Eclipse here in uh, Linux. This is Ubuntu. One thing I can do is I could do the command, let me clear this, PID of, and if I know what the program is, the application, I can type in the name. So seems pretty simple. I have the process ID. I can kill it with, let's say, kill dash nine, and then the name of the process, which is the number of the process, which is 3673. But you'll see when I kill it, it doesn't actually kill the application here, Eclipse. It's still running. If I do a PS that EF and then grep uh, Eclipse, I should have done uh, pipe more. But anyways, uh, if I scroll up here, I'll see that there is another session. It's 3672. And so I missed it. So, of course, you can always do PS grip. PS-EF gives you all the processes, most of the processes, I think. And then you can do pipe, pipe, grip, and then the thing that you're trying to grab, which was I wanted to eclipse. I haven't, I haven't worked on, what do you call it, um, Linux in a long time. I mean, I worked on it a little bit 12 years ago, but I was using it a lot uh, probably 20 years ago when, out of college. You can see how old I am. I think I could have done another thing, a pipe and then a more, and then it'll do a page at a time. And so the process ID I really want is uh, this number over here. The first number is your process ID. The next number is your parent ID, parent process ID. And so if I kill, thirty six seventy two instead, now you'll see behind here Eclipse will just disappear. So sometimes it's not straight as, as straightforward as it, I thought it would be. I thought I could just use PI, PID of and then name the application, that'd be enough. But in the case of Eclipse, uh, there's two process IDs uh, and it has a parent ID. So let me try that again so I can show you. You can still use PID of, but you still have to use the PS command to look for the parent ID. So I'm gonna launch. And now Eclipse is open. And I'll do of e PID of Eclipse. It gives me 3971 uh, and PS-EF, and I'm going to grep 3971, and let's do more this time, pipe more, and enter, and you'll see there's 3971 and 3970. So the number to the right of 3971 is 3970. So that's probably the, the actual thing that we wanna kill. And I'm gonna do it again, where instead of doing grep 3971, I will do Eclipse. And so now you'll see that over here, originally we found 3971 using PID of, but the parent ID of it, 3971, the parent ID was 3970, which takes us to here. And this is the real one we need to uh, remove. So if I did 3970, that'll get rid of um, the uh, Eclipse ap application. So you have to kind of follow the parent ID to figure out which one is the actual application. Or if you understand what this this command means that might solve all of your problems. So anyways, if I want to kill uh, Eclipse, I would have to get rid of this process ID and not the one below it because the other one is just a child. 3971 is just a child of 3970. Hopefully that's, this makes sense. It's probably confusing. Uh, so the only reason why I'm making this video is because I ran in a case yesterday where I was trying to use uh, Eclipse and it closed on me. 
uh, I didn't know if I could reboot the session. Um, so I was just trying to find a way to get rid of Eclipse so I can restart it again. Um, and so what was it that I said? I needed to delete 3970. So kill uh, dash nine. 3970 and we'll watch it get deleted that's it so that was my problem the other day uh, I wanted to kill an application I used the PID of and it gave me a process but it wasn't the par parent process actually the child process so I had to still use uh, ps-ef to find out all the processes and you can use pipe grep and the name of the application. And if you want, pipe more. So it comes page at a time instead of having to scroll up like this. You can do pipe more. And hopefully you can find the Eclipse uh, session. So that's it. Hopefully this helps someone. I don't know if it will, but it'll help me because I'm going to go back to this video in the future. Over and out.